Okay, I'm not sure if I'm getting it all the way in there. But this is a little willow. It's actually in a wet area. Um, you can see all the aspen. Not at, well, waking aspen. Um, there's the leaf. Typically, this is actually Scoleriana, um, which is a bit peculiar in that this is the willow that you'll find the furthest from waste habitat. So it has a broader leaf rather than a uh, narrow leaf. It's got all the willow characteristics necessarily, well, although it has lots, lots of trunks. Um, seems to be more, a little more like a regular tree, tree in that it doesn't just grow straight up and down. You can see the foliage a little bit. But this um, peculiar little willow, um, see it kind of has green, green bark on the twigs, greenish yellow bark on the twigs. Um, what's peculiar is you'll see it way up in the, uh, up in the mountains in kind of moist habitat. Um, but most willows are, you know, generally want their feet wet. And this probably is achieving that. Um, but this is the uh, uh, scholar's, um, scholarized willow. I, I believe so. It's here because of the elevation. Um, because it's, it's quite common in Canada and, and British Columbia and, and so forth. So um, it's, this is definitely the southern part of its range, but because of the elevation. Uh, here it is. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. It's a very straightforward willow because most of them do not have leaves like that and certainly do not have the habitat that this has. So anyway, maybe only I find that interesting.